Hi guys, this is Holiday Inflatable Fanatic, and today I have a really cool video for you guys because in front of me I have the 8 foot tall Carolyn Poo. So this one is, I wouldn't say it's brand new in the box because it seems like it's been retaped, and well, it doesn't seem like that. It, it has been retaped. So I'm assuming this thing has been tested, but I don't think it was ever used, used, if you know what I mean. I think it was probably just tested once to see how it is, but we'll figure that out right now. So without further ado, let's open this thing up and we'll see what we're dealing with. So this one, all these classic poos, especially the eight foot ones, are known for, you know, not lasting that long or for not standing. So, We'll see if this one, you know, actually inflates well. I'm hoping it does. Um, yeah, I don't know what it, what it is with the poos. I think it's just probably because it has a lot of yellow fabric. And the, the fa fabrics with a lot of, I guess you could say, peculiar, peculiar colors. Or more, not peculiar, but more like vibrant colors. Typically, um, don't last as long as like the more basic ones such as white and black and other colors like that but it really all depends on how it was stored and you know how the original owner took care of it so it does seem new and the twisty tie is actually still on so we might be good with this let me try pulling it out of the box And here it is. So let me get this unraveled and we'll see what's inside. All right, so you got your typical good old, good old fashioned gemmy steak pack with actual good steaks and good tethers. Got your typical instructions, you know, and the inflatable itself. And what, from what I can see, especially this green, the green looks great. And the yellow actually feels pretty good. So this is keeping me pretty hopeful. I mean, you can just see, look how bright that red is. It's incredible. But uh, yeah, let's get to inflating it and keep my fingers crossed that this thing is in good shape. Alrighty guys, so here it is fully inflated. It is really, really awesome. It's amazing how huge he is too. Eight foot is really a really big size, especially when it comes to these classic ones. They always feel much bigger than eight feet, and this is a prime example of that. Um, these base, this basement is about seven, I thought these were eight feet tall, these, these ceilings, but apparently not because um, Pooh's being pushed down a little bit. His hat goes higher than that. So he actually might be in a half feet or something like that. But, uh, I mean, he's an awesome inflatable. So let's take a close-up look of him. Um, this is one of the more standard Pooh designs, considering it really is just Pooh and a Christmas hat and a scarf. Um, really, the biggest unique thing about it is the book that he's holding, which is actually really cool. Um, it's made out of, like, it has, like, the foam-filled... Um, yeah, it's it's like filled with foam almost, but it's weird because it looks like it's just typical, you know, like inflatable fabric. So I believe it's double layered where there's actually another sheet inside that causes it to be filled. Foam, foam, foamed with fill. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Filled with foam is what I was trying to say. But it really adds to a nice effect. You can kind of tell, I mean, it's not too noticeable, but you can kind of tell that it has like a plushy almost effect to it. So it is pretty neat. Uh, Pooh is wearing his classic red shirt. And as you can see, the red fabric is great on this thing. No thin lines or anything like that. The yellow is a little spotty. I noticed a few lines on his, in the back of his face. His legs look good though, as you can see here. And obviously, you know, he inflates really good, so. I mean, the fabric is definitely pretty good on him. The back of his red is good. Even like his lower body right here is fine. So it's definitely a pretty good shape. I'm um, going to his, his scarf. I always left 
the fact that with the older designs, they stitch on the scarf really well. So it's stitched on both of his shoulder, the front of his face, and even the back of his face too. And it allows it to really, you know, look nice even, you know, after being crunched up in, in the box for so long. And I love how long this scarf is too. It really is, it's about like three and a half feet long. It's a really big scarf. And I love the fact that it has the little like frilly type stuff at the end. Adds to a nice effect and I'm sure that looks really nice in the wind with the wind blowing through it. Now Pooh's face, Pooh's face always looked good. Uh, classic Jammy, they did a great job with Pooh's face. And as you can kind of see with the nose, you can see a few thin lines here and there. Um, but uh, his face looks good, his mouth is awesome. I love the fact that his tongue is a separate piece of fabric. Um, and I always love how the fact that his eyebrows um, are not screen printed, but are actual pieces of fabric. Um, so going around here, like his cheeks right here are good. Fabric's good over there. Fabric's good on this cheek as well. Even like above, come on, yeah. Even above his his head as well. It's really just his snout, snout or whatever you want to call it here. You can definitely see that where it was folded, there are some lines. And there, on the back of his head, it's not too bad, but then there are spots that you can see here and there. I mean, I kind of expected that for this guy, considering, well, it's Pooh. And as I was saying at the beginning of the video, this is, you know, Pooh is just one of those inflatables where it happens, you know, where the fabric is often, you know, not the best. And plus two, you know, we're sitting in the box for, you know, for such a long time that oftentimes those cracks do develop little thin lines. But, um... Yeah, I mean, besides that, he looks great. His head is huge, too. Um, if I push him all the way down, you can see the little pom-pom popping up. And he does pull and push himself all the way up, even with it being compressed down like that. His legs are still pushing him up, which is typically, uh, you know, when this thing really starts to wear out, he doesn't stay up at all, at all because his legs are so skinny compared to the rest of his body and has a hard time uh, balancing him. But the fact that his legs are still, you know, all the way up and fully inflated, even with that, uh, it being pushed uh, down at the top is a really good sign for this thing. But yeah, I mean, I love this design. It's a great shape. It's, it's a not great shape. It's a, it's a great piece. And I don't know why showing up on camera like this, the, this part of the shout is like a, like a, looks almost like a neon yellow, but it is just the same color. I think it's just because of the light at the top lights off you can actually see this thing in the dark it looks great in the dark it's five seconds happens in it but yeah as i was saying this is a great design i just wish these poos lasted longer especially these eight foot ones these eight foot ones always seem like they you know only last a couple seasons but hopefully this one has some life to it hopefully it can last at least a good couple of seasons and yeah and hopefully jemmy starts making some new poo designs i mean we did get that scene last year so it's definitely possible that we could be getting an eight foot poo or something like that in the near future or at least i hope but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye